What's up, the Muffer subscribers? It's me here, GameOx, and uh, I decided to make a Minecraft tutorial. Um, it was a while since I did one last time, and I got pre pretty many views. So I decided to make another one, and um, you know, I made a craft bucket, how to install a craft bucket before, and it just sucked. It didn't even like work for me totally so I'm making a new one on how to install a craft bucket server for Minecraft so first off download this craft bucket 1.1 minus R4 or the newest one if you're looking at it this one in the future or another one if you like to have that too so we're gonna do that is on uh, bucket.org I'll link in the description and here you see at the right side of if you scroll down a little on the right side you see recommended builds and there it says download the latest recommended build here and then you just press there and it should start download like this just save it to wherever you want your desktop your documents just to know where it is and um, oh yeah place it on your desktop it's best because here's where we're gonna work the most so my awesome background so when you download it and it's done you can keep up the bucket.org site You're, we're going to create a new folder and just name it to whatever you want I name it server bucket and just drag and drop your bucket file into the serve bucket so now we got this with our bucket file in it's a jar and now we have to create a bat, B -A -T file, bat file and how you can do that is just create a new text document and uh, you see it's a txt file but if you don't have the endings like I don't have not open then you can write then you need winrar and then just right click and add to archive with the winrar and you'll get up this just press ok and you see you have this winrar here open up that file and you'll see now you have the .txt after and it shows it's a, it's a txt file so right click your new text document rename and then change txt to bat and it will look like this now it's a window commando file windows commando file so move the winrar window aside and just drag and dump the bat file into your bucket server folder so that it's placed with the craft bucket close the winrar and you can take away the winrar file and the regular text file just delete those and here we have a text a bat file and a crop bucket jar file you can rename this to whatever you want like start server or something and uh, don't press that one yet it just w will say that it has nowhere to like search or stuff like that my awesomeness hello sounds okay so right click the BAT file and type and choose edit or yeah just so you get up like a note thing and now we're going to go into the bucket website again and up here at all these you see get plugins, bucket do, get craft bucket about us, da, 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 home forums, yeah everything like that. Uh press on get craft bucket and you'll see here how exactly to get craft bucket, but it's a little rough explanation. So um here I have Windows, here's Linux and Mac too. So you have if you have Linux 
or Mac you have to read a little of these just to understand how to fix your thing so you just copy one of these texts copy one of those and paste it into your bat file like this and note here if you're running Java in 32 bit mode on a 64 bit machine change per percent program files percent to percent program files x86 within these two and then percent again so I shall sh change this to a to six that like that this one so just save that keep this one up it might not be right the first time with this you can try this and this and this and see if those work if the other doesn't so now if we double click it says enable to access jar files and then you have to change the cross bucket file to the right um to the right uh, name so if it's here it's just named craft bucket then I have to type minus one dot one minus r four so it gets like this instead of just craft bucket dot jar save that start server and there we go it's preparing now everything just works fine just gonna see so that it does everything it should and here you see it's it has created all the world files the ban ISPs, ban players, buckets jar thing don't know what that one does the ops the server, the server config the whitelist and here you have the start server and to shut this one down you just write stop and it will stop the server and there we go let's see if it works so it has started up let's start minecraft just gonna log in a little quick show you that it works Awesome Nest Texture Pack, my server, logging in. And here I am in my world. And don't don't recognize that minimap over there. It's a it's a mod and too many items. So, but yeah, it, it basically works just like this and you should be up and running with your buddies so just gonna disconnect no not change texture pack disconnect stop the server by tapping in stop and it will stop so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys another time see you guys and bye